Hi, third, fourth, and fifth grade leaders. We are winding up November. We're preparing for November 26th and still talking about gratitude. This week we'll focus on our memory verse from 1 Thessalonians 5.18 and give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank him because you belong to Christ Jesus or believe in Christ Jesus. Um, your opening activity is a would you rather activity and then we will uh, move into a large group and talk about the um, memory verse from a different perspective today. Then your small group activity, um, you will have a bag with some markers in it and a um, large piece of butcher paper. Today, so that I can show you on my camera, I'm gonna use a smaller piece of paper so that you can understand how you're gonna use this, okay? So on this smaller piece of paper, you're, you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it in half, like this. And then on one side of the paper, you want kids, and um, the other thing that you need to be aware of is on this side of the paper, they can use any color but red or orange. You're gonna save red and orange markers for or crayons or whatever else is in your bag for um, the other side of the paper, and you'll understand that in a minute. So on this side of the paper, they're supposed to write things that are easy to be thankful for. These are things that, um, these were just some of my ideas, if you need to help kids understand how to, how to look at that. And they may have some different ideas of the things that are easy to be thankful for. And then after that's over, you're gonna flip the paper over, and you're going to have them write down things that are hard to be thankful for. Um, I, I wrote them down here in red and orange. And then when it's all over, you're gonna open up the paper together and um, look at those things and talk through. And there were a couple questions that they, they specifically wanted you to get. They want you to compare and contrast the two sides. What makes something easy and what makes something hard? And what's the difference between hard and easy? And then the other question is, what if you don't feel like giving thanks? How can you still give thanks for the hard and the easy things? I think this could be a really great discussion starter. Um, if you need more pieces of paper, please let me know. I'll be happy to get more pieces of paper. We don't want anybody to not participate because there's not enough space for them to participate in. Um, it's not so much about the paper as much as it is of understanding that in all circumstances, just like the verse says in 1 Thessalonians, I'm going to read it here to you from um, Leah's study Bible. It says, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. In other words, because we believe in Jesus, God demands that we be thankful. And so we need to figure out how to be thankful even in the tough stuff. You have your memory verse activity, uh, which is this memory verse. So maybe you can have them all stand loud and proud and yell it to you in unison um, so that you know that they got it this month. And then the last activity, you have some cards. And I know that all of the cards say essentially the same thing. That's on purpose. If you'll notice, each card is written in a different translation from the Bible. And this is so that kids can understand that even with different translations, we get the same meaning out of it all. So give each kid one of these cards. And um, there's only four different versions in, the, in that right now. And then um, they'd like for you to do kind of a, um, a literary analysis to look at the words and see what the words mean and see if you can find ways that they relate to each other and ultimately to end up praying for each other and find ways that we can pray that in all circumstances we can be thankful and we can be thankful for each other. I appreciate you guys so much and I'm looking forward to December together. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.